Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to talk about again Cyber Panel and how to add your first domain. So without any delay, don't forget to like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the icon so you get notified of, of any new tutorial I make. Here we are. We are in the Cyber Panel. On the menu on the left, we're going to click on websites and then list websites and I'm going to create a new website. I'm going to select the default admin. I'm going to add my domain name in this case it's going to be osc.uk and I'm going to add the actual email. Then what I'm going to do I'm going to select the PHP that I want to use. Here we got the additional features. You can use the SSL, the KIM support, open base protection, and you can create the mail domain as well if you want to. All you gotta do is just click create website. Right, so the actual domain has been added. The settings are being created. It's setting up the directories, mail, DNS, and all the rest. For each domain once it's been done we go back and from the menu from the left side we're going to click on the websites and then we're going to list all our domains that are in cyber panel we scroll down to the domain we just added and we go to click manage here we are inside the domain panel here we can do a lot of things. We can look at the logs. We can have a file manager. We can create FTP um, user, users, and we can do a lot more. We can even install uh, some applications such as WordPress. Now I am in Cloudflare, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add. I'm going to use Cloudflare, and I'm going to use the name server that Cloudflare offers and I'm going to link it to my server. As you can see here, 11.11.1111 is my server and I'm going to add the NS that Cloudflare offers into my domain registrar. I'm going to use my first name server and my second name server as you can see on the screen. This is important that are added in the way you know that you can see there. Once that has been done, you need to allow up to 24 hours to be uh, alive, but usually it doesn't take that long. Once you're happy with that, you just click update. So let's go back to Cloudflare. And as you can see, this is the way I've done it. Make sure it's proxied. We got the IP, we got the domain. The C name is just subdomains that I, you don't have to do that unless you want subdomain, of course. Now we are back on the cyber panel. Let me open a new uh, tab and let me write, hey, we go the osc.uk. As you can see, the actual domain has been installed properly what i'm going to do now i'm going to the file manager and i'm going to create a simple html file and i'm going to add just one line with the hello there so again you can do a lot of things here let's go back and let's go and click on the file manager and we are inside the file manager i'm going to go to the html and here i'm going to create new file create file and i'm going to call it index.html happy with that create now i'm going to edit press edit and i'm going to write hello this is something just to show you that it works and it's very simple of course you can install anything you want from here and i'm going to make new tutorials in the future not to install wordpress easily manually and using the actual script that comes with cyber panel there we go i just uh, refresh the page and as you can see hello is on the screen and it's very simple let's go back to the actual panel and again guys as you can see you can have presser shop you can have get joomla motic magento and of course manually you can install a lot of other things yeah you also can manage the uh, get from here you just you know decide which uh, folder you want to use it's very simple and um, again i'm going to make new tutorials in the future on how to get started as well with git and so on anyway guys thanks so much for joining me for this small tutorial on how to add a domain on the cyber panel i hope you enjoyed as much as i did don't forget to like and subscribe and i see you next time for a new tutorial hopefully that will be in the next couple of weeks
Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.